Hi, this is Dean Rankin, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the secrets to a well-behaved dog. And I have great news for you. This is much easier than you think. Here's the first secret. You actually have hundreds of years of quote-unquote programming working to your advantage right now. Here's what I mean. Dogs were first domesticated by us humans hundreds of years ago to be used as working animals. That's to say, when people first domesticated dogs, we didn't do it because we wanted pets and companions. Instead, we domesticated them at first because we wanted them to be hunters or herders or protectors and so forth. They always had a job. And because of this, dogs are now programmed to always work towards a specific goal. And one of their main drivers is a little tip called positive reinforcement. You see, because dogs are hardwired, from the get-go to work towards a goal, it only makes sense that rewarding them for good behavior is far more effective than punishing them for bad behavior. I'll give you an example. Think about how easy it is to teach a dog to play fetch. In fact, you don't even really have to teach the dog anything, right? You pick up a ball and throw it, and the dog's just going to go get it and bring you back the ball. Why is he doing that? Because he wants you to throw the ball again. So you say, ah, oh, this is fun, I'll throw the ball again. He goes and gets it, brings it back to you. Why? Because he wants you to throw it again. Every time you throw that ball, you're giving positive reinforcement. Therefore, it's effortless to teach a dog to play fetch. Well, the same thing can be used with all aspects of training your dog, because positive reinforcement works. I'll give you some more proof of why this works. I'd like you to take a minute to remember your favorite teacher from school. As you remember this person, most likely you'll recall that this person taught your class by being a leader, not by being a bully. Most likely the same teacher always focused on the good thing that your class did instead of punishing your class all the time for bad behavior. Your teacher was probably always rewarding you and praising the class for doing things right. And most likely you learned more from this teacher than you did from any of your other teachers. And on the other hand, I'll bet that if you remember, your least favorite teacher probably focused on punishing the class for bad behavior instead of rewarding for good. Well, dogs are the same way as we are. We always all are going to respond much better to positive behavior. Now, I'll give you another secret. You've always been the boss in your house. You've always been in control. Whether you know it or your dog knows it is a different matter entirely. But let me show you why you've always been in control. First of all, food. Your dog's not going to eat unless you feed him, period. If you don't feed your dog today, your dog's not going to eat, and that's very, very powerful. You are in absolute control. Same thing with attention. Your dog's not going to get any attention from you, good or bad, unless you decide to give it your attention. And by the way, those first two things I just told you, food and attention, are two of the single most powerful motivating drivers of all of your dog's behavior right there. You also control when you go for walks and when you don't, and you're in complete control of when it's time to play and when it's not. Now, the reason some dogs don't realize that you are the boss is because you might have been, for all this time, accidentally teaching your dog bad manners. Now, I said earlier that the ultimate rewards for your dog are your attention and food, right? Okay, well, lots of times we give the dogs a free lunch by rewarding them with food or snacks or attention even if they haven't earned it and sometimes even if they're misbehaving. So I want to show you a little trick now. It's called the three-day miracle transformation. And if you follow these very easy instructions, your dog is going to be a brand new dog over the next three days. Here's all you do. First of all, no more free lunches. Okay, your dog's going to have to earn all these rewards that we're giving him. Here's what I mean. Don't give your dog any attention or food at all unless your dog does something by or does something for you first so I'll give you an example when it's time to feed your dog and your dog's jumping around and he's excited it's time to eat don't give your dog any food unless he sits or lies down or does whatever it is that you might tell him to do same thing with going for a walk if it's time to go for a walk don't open that door until your dog does something that you tell him to do and I'll give you another little hint to really make this work great. You always want to switch it up and use different commands. So don't make him sit every time you feed him. Instead, switch up the command. So today you might not feed him until he sits. Tomorrow you might not feed him until he lies down, and so forth. Otherwise, if you always use the same command, your dog will just immediately realize, hey, all I have to do is sit down before they even get out the food bowl and I'll get fed. Then your dog's manipulating you. So switch up the commands and it will work unbelievably well. This is going to bring forth an amazing change in your dog over three days. That's all it takes. I know it sounds really, really easy, but it is really, really easy. And if you try it, it works. And speaking of having a miracle transformation in your dog, I'd like to give you a very rare opportunity right now to get my entire training course for free. 
Here's my offer to you. I'd like to just give you unlimited access to my entire course right now today for free. You don't pay me any money at all today. I refuse to accept it. Then I'd like you to test drive my system for a week. See if it works for your dog. If it does work for your dog and you're absolutely ecstatic that you got it, then please buy it from me. But if you don't like it, if you're not thrilled for any reason at all, or for no reason, doesn't matter to me, you don't pay a single dime. You never get billed. You never give me any money. Either way, you can still keep the course. So even if you get it and decide that it's not for you and don't want to pay for it, you can still just flat out have it. Just as my way of saying thank you for being a good dog owner and thank you for at least trying this. Now I know this seems a little bit crazy and you might be thinking, good lord, aren't people going to take advantage of you? And well, thankfully, no they're not. I've actually done this in the past and most people end up keeping the course and then writing me nice letters telling me how much they enjoyed it. So I'm going to send you to a special web page right now where you can get immediate instant free access to my course and if you like it, I hope you decide to buy it. Thanks so much for watching today's video and thank you for being the best dog owner you can be.